What's up, Glendale investors? I'm going to help you make 20 grand on a duplex right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world welcome to the show folks this is where i help investors from all over the country all over the world actually invest in real estate in the cleveland market today we're working from wd glendale california resident and wd i got a deal here that's 20 grand cheaper than normal okay you've done a a, a slew of videos with me you're starting to understand the cleveland market right and everybody else if you want to understand the cleveland market in real time doing real deals and actually brokering partnering with us to have me broker your deals and handle your property management and build you a portfolio of cash flowing rentals like i'm doing for wd shoot my team an email give us your number you can click the show notes below to set up an appointment book a call we will get you on the phone talk to you about what you want to do and get you some customized shows like this right because i sent this to wd a while ago so this house is no longer available folks i don't list it publicly on holton wise tv till after the fact now wd you already know all this i just had to get that out there to all the rest of the folks you know you know gotta keep the lights on but what are we doing here what are we doing today well 20k that's what we're talking about twenty thousand dollars right wd you know because me and you have been working together. You know duplexes should cost you about 100 Gs. This one only costs 80. Is that mean? Does that mean, rather? Does that mean you just made 20 grand? Or is there a reason the seller's listing it for $20,000 less than what they should normally be listing it for? We're going to find that out right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's pull up this property, right? This property comes to us with a 20K discount, essentially, okay? It's been on the market 26 days. 80K is the price. 7814 Lawn, Cleveland 44102. Duplexes in this neighborhood are about 100K, right? That's what they sell for, folks. Right now in 2021, they sell for about 100K. Why is this one $20,000 cheaper? What's going on? Let's find out what the listing agent had to say. Price to sell. Find your excellent income-producing asset in this cash-flowing duplex property. Fully occupied and ready for its new owner. This property is a great find for the new or experienced investor. Interior is spacious and allows for even large families to live comfortably. Long-standing tenants do not miss out on this Opportunity to own a turnkey cash flowing duplex on Cleveland's west side. Thousand dollars monthly rent. Professionally, professional property management. Uh, uh, professional property management available from day one. Okay, so they're selling it for eighty k. They're saying it's turnkey. Okay, let's check out the photos. Right, this is what it looks like. Okay, it's not exactly what I would uh, think of when I think of turnkey. Right, like. You know, this right here, this is like original. You can see it's all beat up, right? Like, on the next turn, you'd be better just replacing those metal cabinets. It's, like, more expensive to try to fuck around with those things than to just get some new Home Depot Lowe's quality ones, okay? So you can see we just got some long-term uh, tenants in here, and uh, <laughs> I don't know if I agree with the listing agent's description of spacious when I look at this, right? It's, I don't know. It doesn't feel spacious to me. But, you know, this is uh, very much so C-grade investing, right? It's, it's, it's a little rough, okay? Turnkey is not the term I would use. I would use the term rough, okay? It's a rough-looking house, right? But that doesn't make it a bad deal, right? Newer-looking hot water tank, that's what really matters. That one looks pretty new, too. This is probably about 10 years old. Furnaces last about 30 years, cost about 3 Gs. Hot water tanks last about 15 years. 
uh, cost about a G, right? Roofs last about 30 years, cost about seven Gs. Don't anticipate a new roof, right? So that's what it looks like, okay? What are those tenants paying? They're paying below market rent. They're paying 500 a piece, right? $1,000. In a perfect world with beautiful, fresh units, right? Not like, you know, those little scuzzy looking units, right? Fresh renovated units. You're getting 1500 bucks a month, okay? 750 per unit, 18k for the year, right? What's that look like after fixed and variable expenses? 78 uh 7612 actually. 7612 is my estimate there, right? If you buy it at their price, 80k, you put down 20 bank kicks in 60. It projects out to long-term 23% return on investment. That's my estimate, right? That's what it looks like. But we're not there. Obviously, we're not there, right? And that's why it's 80K. Is it a great deal? Sure. Is it a bad deal? No. Is it beautiful? No. Is it a crummy house? Yes, right? If it was in better shape, right? Better shape, higher rents, it'd be a $100,000 property, right? It's a little scuzzy. It's a little ugly. It's a little worse for the wear. Seller said turnkey, spacious in their description, but they know that's not true because they're selling it at 80K, right? So in my opinion, it's fair. It's a fair deal, right? So if you're out there and you're like, oh man, all the duplexes are 100K. This one's only 80. I just got a 20K under fair market value. No, not necessarily. Yeah, we got a 20K discount on what duplexes normally go for. Uh, but that's just because of what we're dealing with, right? We got some scuzzy-looking units, right? We're going to have pretty big turnovers, right? If those tenants eventually move out, at least 10 to 15K per unit probably to get them ready for market rate tenants at 750, right? To get some nice Section 8 tenants in there, we're looking at about 15 each per unit, right? Do we have to do that, though? That's the real question. Do we really need to do that? Probably not, right? We got long-term tenants. They're paying 1000 a month right now. Cash flows today, yes, absolutely. Cash flow even nicer if we slowly increase their rents up, right? The goal shouldn't be to get from 500 to 750 as quick as possible, folks. No. The goal should be to get from 500 to 750 as cheap and efficiently as possible. We want to do that. We want to do that by keeping those two tenants in there, right? The units, they look scuzzy. Guess what? If those two tenants live there for five more years, they're still going to look scuzzy. We don't have to do new units, right? We want to keep the people that scuzzied up the units in the scuzzy units as long as we can, right? Because new people ain't moving into old people's scuzz. No, no, no. But existing people with their existing scuzz, it's all good. It's their scuzz, baby. So keep them in there, right? If we eventually, over the course of like five more years, get them up to 750, never did a turnover, Woo! We really basically did get ourselves a 20k discount. If we immediately boot them out by telling them you gotta pay 750, or you gotta go, bro. Well, we're probably dropping thirty thousand dollars into this thing. Now we're at 110, right? We're no longer getting a 20 day k discount. We're actually overpaying by 10k, right? So it's really about the strategy here, right? So what you're doing here is you're rolling the dice a little bit, right? But you're coming in cheaper. 80k and in my opinion if you do it right you keep them tenants in those units as long as you can and minimize your turnovers you got yourself a pretty solid deal i think we'll have to pay list i think we'll have to pay 80 because like i said most of the other duplexes are 100 right so eventually we're going to get a lot of people interested in this because they're going to see that 80k price point and be very happy maybe we got a good shot of going 80k today and then we do the inspection and then we beat that seller up a little bit after the inspection right i'm sure we're going to find all kinds of undisclosed items that i could go to that seller beat them up maybe we could end up pulling this thing for like 75 77 but i think the best uh, scenario here to get this 20k off of what we're normally paying here would be to go in full price because I think a lot of people are going to see that 20k discount and, and get excited and it will move quick right so my opinion pretty good deal but I just need you to go in with eyes wide open thanks for watching subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information education and entertainment